There was this traumatic earthquake in Haiti back in 2010. The whole city was basically destroyed, so we had to move here. And just two months after I moved here, my mom passed from cancer. So then that's when I started to go through, you know, depression. My father left my family when I was nine years old. I wasn't making grades. I wasn't doing the things that I had to do. I was making wrong decisions socially. I was just slipping through cracks. There was no support back in Jamaica for my sexuality. I've been strangled, stoned, beaten. It was pretty, pretty rough. I came to the States with the hope for a better life but it was completely different. I was unemployed. To be honest, I was a bit hopeless until I found the door. Going to the door, it was like, it was the beginning that I was hoping for when I came to the United States. Everything at the door is free. Food is free. I can get help for counseling. I'm getting free dance training. Dance has always been therapeutic to me. Anthony told me about the career education program and I started working with them shortly after. And I am able to pay for school because I'm working. The door actually offers the EMT um, training program and that's so I got my EMT certification. I'm on like solid grounds right now. Having the door in and Broom Street Academy Share Building is actually amazing. There's just so many things that Broom Street Academy and the door offer that other schools in New York City don't. They just push you to do all the things that you want to do while also incorporating your academics into it every day. There's so much more personalized attention here. We have the CHAMP model, which is one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. Miss Santiago is always available to me at any time. She's basically like a mom to me. Dina is my mentor. Going to the door is like, oh, I got this whole community behind me. My sexuality is who I am, and they've accepted me for that. And I have friends that I can actually call friends. I'm actually going to be the first to graduate from college in my immediate family, so that's kind of like a little weight on my shoulders. But it's something that I do aspire to. I can't imagine a world without the door.